Hello and welcome to my kitchen on Life in Bama. Today I'm going to try to do something I've not done before and that is create a pureed soup. Come join me. You can see what recipe I come up with. In this soup I will be using leeks, celery, an acorn squash, and some potatoes. I have my water boiling. I will cut up about four of these potatoes to use in the soup. Then I cut up my leeks and I will be blending all of this together with a hand mixer. So I'm just cutting these things up in small chunks. There they go. Adding my celery. I guess I'm doing the easy things first because now I'm going to add the acorn squash. And if you've never worked with an acorn squash before, the waxy flesh of this squash is quite intimidating. I cut the squash in half. And a couple of Christmases ago, I had bought these fancy Wolfgang Puck utensils for my husband. So I'm going to use one of them to hollow out the innards from this squash. And it worked pretty good. I thought it could be a little bit sharper though. Now I'm going to cut the flesh off. This was time consuming with a dull knife but at least I didn't stab myself. So I got a good bit to use. Now originally I had seen this recipe made with pumpkin, but pumpkin is out of season here, so I picked this acorn squash to use. And I just threw in some cauliflower because we had some. I didn't put any salt or pepper in this because I used a Fox Point seasoning that had salt, shallots, chives, garlic, onion, and green peppercorns in it. I could have taken a little bit more of the uh, liquid out, but I think it turned out pretty good. I'm finished with my concoction here, and it does look a lot like applesauce. My husband said it looked like gravy but we're going to eat it with the rotisserie chicken that we bought. I'm eating my soup, and I've taken a few bites of it. I added, added a little bit of cheddar cheese to it and some Ritz crackers. It's very good, it's very earthy, and you can taste the squash, you can taste, taste the potatoes. It tastes really good, and it's very hearty and very filling. So that's what I would suggest. Just go buy you some fresh vegetables, throw them all in a pot, and heat them up, and eat them. If you will, please subscribe to my channel, and after you hit the uh, subscribe button, a little bell will appear, and if you click on that bell, you'll receive email notifications, or notifications when I'm posting new videos. So we will see you next time on Life in Bama. Thanks for watching.